I have got a lot to talk about today, which you can find all right here. But without further ado, let's just jump into the first story, shall we? So this first story is a doozy, and there's a lot to wrap your head around. So first off, Tuesday, Facebook revealed an update on its plan to create a brain-computer interface. And while it will take some time to develop, the main idea is that it would transfer thoughts into computer, computer commands. And effectively, it would be able to read your mind. Like I said, although it is going to take some time to develop, like around a decade or so, the idea that Facebook, a company that has its own share and history of privacy concerns, is trying to, is trying to build a mind-reading device, is somewhat troubling to me. Especially because those very same privacy concerns have led many users away from the site. It, it scared users away from using Facebook specifically because of their own privacy concerns. While the idea, however, is that it would be able to allow us to interact with a computer directly without with the system, that is going to lead to quite a bit or a higher level of immersiveness in virtual reality and augmented reality services and headsets. Thankfully, Facebook is not the only company or system that is in the process of developing a system like this. Everybody's favorite genius, Elon Musk, is also working on his own concept for this, which would require implanting a computer chip inside a patient's brain. This one, which he dubbed Neuralink, is going to appeal to those who suffer from disabilities such as being mute, deaf, or depending on how it's applied, blindness. He plans on starting those human trials in next year's second half. Well, it, it just says trials, not really, not really sure whether it's human or animal, but we're all animals, aren't we? Anyway, it says he's hoping to start trials in the second half of next year. So hopefully his gains a bit more traction than Facebook's does. And on that note, Facebook has opened up registration for the Oculus Connect 6, which you can attend from September 26th to the 27th at the McEmory Convention Center in San Jose, California. Next up, what's really cool is that HTC has given us a reveal trailer for the Vive Cosmos headset, which we can check out here in a second. If you're looking for a way to develop your own virtual reality games, OpenHMD is going to be the way to do it. It is a free and open source way to be able to develop all of your systems. It is effectively Unity for VR. And on top of that, the OpenXR standard is going to allow you to be able to build not just for one, but everything as it has the open xr standard has allowed support for the newest headsets the quest and the vibe pro so regardless of what you're developing for that software will also be compatible with 
whatever other headset you want to develop for. So you only have to build it once. Nice touch, huh? If you guys are still here and you're feeling charitable in some way, you can activate that charity in a few different ways. The first one, you can go to humblebundle.com and pick out one of the bundles that they have for sale there. When you get one of these bundles, you're not you're not only able to get some good software or books or games or what whatever it is that you're you're choosing, but you're also able to support a charity of your choice. They have a few different ones available, so you don't have to feel necessarily tied down to helping children or animals. The, even though, well, animals are always a good one, aren't they? And then if that is up your speed, I'm selling these headphones on Amazon. Link on screen. I personally use them. I really like them. And they've been working out really well for me. If that still doesn't really work out well for you, I've got a link on screen also for my Patreon. Well, up here somewhere. I, I don't know where I'll put it. But you'll find it somewhere. I hope. Probably. Maybe. Uh, I think this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.